Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Alex Graham, I'm Alex Cat Day, back with another video. And today, um, I'll be making a video on scammers and basically how to prevent yourself from being scammed. There are a lot of videos like this out there, but then, um, recently, like, I think five of my friends got scammed. One of them got scammed two times or something. And I just like that. That is just. That, that's too much for me, okay? I need to make a video on, well, basically help, helping you guys, preventing you guys from getting scammed, because. I don't know, no one, no one heeds my warning, so why not make a YouTube video about it? Anyways, so, um, this dude right here actually just attempted to scam me. So, the first thing I want to do is to go on this website called SteamRep. Um, I use it a lot when trading, like, just to look at, see if people are legit. And this guy... Alright, by the way, the, the link is, like, SteamRep.com, so you can just search up. Now, this guy, he's banned. What that means, I think you can guess, is that he is probably a hacker. I mean, uh, no, not hacker, I mean scammer, I'm retarded. And, uh, yeah, he has this friend who, uh, you know, is the, um... I don't think his friend is that legit. But, although he doesn't have a community ban or trade ban or back ban, but if he's banned on this website, it means that he's been reported for, um, scams or scam attempts. And that is basically how you can check if someone's, well, banned or not, whether they're legit or not. Now, um, this is, hang on, let me just find the, the guy. This right here is my entire conversation with him. I, I'll, I, I guess I'll just put in, in like a, I don't know, a Word document or something, and then put it in the description. If you actually want to read my entire conversation with him. Now, this isn't the full conversation, but then, because like, I log it out a bit, then log back in, so that's where it starts from, I guess. Um, yeah, um, so, yeah, uh, Steam Rep, this is a pretty... Useful tool. Now I can show you my my profile. For example, if you go to here, copy page URL, and then post it in here. Paste. There you go. Search me up. I don't have any special reputation because like no one has like commended me here, or no one has reported me here for anything. So as you can see here, um, none of my friends really are scammers. So basically, no special reputations. Basically, like no one's reported you, no one's commended you. Just uh, like a normal person there, I guess. Um, and you see, I have one band friend, which um, uh, he, he well, he's chicken. Um, yeah, that's 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 not my band friend. He's chicken. So uh, that right there. Um, another thing I really want to warn you guys about is the ways people can try to scam you. If, like, I, like, a lot of other, um, scam prevention videos that are out there, they, I, I don't know how many times people are stressed about this, but if someone offers you an offer that's way too good to be true, do not accept it. Well, un unless it's from, like, some big YouTuber doing a giveaway and you won it or something, well, then you can accept it, but if it's an offer that's too good to be true, do not accept it. Especially if the offer includes stuff like PayPal or f from some third-party website or anything that requires you to go first. Now, even if they go first, for example, on PayPal or something, PayPal's like a complete crap website for money stuff, they can still re get their uh, money refunded. So, even if like they pay you first and they give them their, their item, Within a few hours, they could get that money refunded back to them, and, well, you're basically still screwed, so you you, you just got scammed. Um, a lot of other scams involve uh, third-party websites. For example, like, I don't know, like a fake um, fake betting website. I think I have one here, right here. This one, alright. This is a site my friend got scammed on, okay? What happens is that the, uh, some person said that they won a few trillion hundred credits or something, and that they're gonna give it to him. So he could withdraw something because, I don't know, they can withdraw stuff or something. Random crap like that. Uh, okay, I, I can't use it, but... Yeah, but just, just logging into a website like that, that won't actually get you hacked. Because, well, it's not that hard, easy to hack a, hack a Steam account. But, if you look here, um, there are plenty of good items here. Like, just look at all these. And guess what? They're all fake. So, you guys really want to be uh, on a lookout for other, like, third-party websites that are not really, like, um, that aren't really verified, I guess. A good way to kind of, like, I don't know, see if a website's legit or not, what the heck is this? It's just going YouTube and search it. For example, I know this one's called CSGO Live. Search it up. Okay. Run. 
boxing. There you go. Now you can see, um, the people made videos on the site. It's most likely legit because there are so many videos on it. But if I go back to the Lucky for Two website, there aren't any videos on it. So basically, it's probably not legit. <coughs> but yeah, um, if it doesn't seem legit, don't click it. And um, yeah, if the offer is too good to be true and is not a one-to-one -one offer. By one to one offer, what I mean is an offer that's something like this. Uh, okay, I, I, I guess this. I'll just offer something like this, which I declined because I don't want to do that. But this is a one to one offer where his item is in there, your items are in there. Then, um, Doug said, oh, also, this reminds me, don't, don't, don't trust this kind of stuff. They, Something like CSGO Lounge or something will never actually ever send you something like this. We need to verify suspicion items for a trade. You decline trade or company is suspended for seven days. Guess what? I declined the trade and I didn't get suspended. So don't 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 trust stuff that says bot on it. Okay, it's most like a fake bot. But yeah, um, basic points from this video: use Steam Rep. It's a pretty good website. You can try to figure out if someone's legit or not. Don't accept trades that seem to be true. Never ever accept trades that involve you going first or some kind of third party website. Uh, well, unless it's like, I don't know, OP skin or something, well, that's trustable, but. Do not ever accept any trade from a stranger you don't know who's offering you something really good and tells you to go first. That is basically an indication that they're a big ass scammer. I'll link this guy's um, profile in the description if you guys want to go, like, I don't know, minus rep him or something. Um, also, Look at something like this. Huge freaking profile description thing. That is basically how you know it's not legit. Like, just, just look at this, like... Alright. Showcase so many items, guess what, we can click into there. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't see anything, you see, you see only one, so... Um... So yeah, to do something like this, what he does is just, like, puts the same exact... Um... Uh, item in every single one of these, but it doesn't matter. So, if someone has a huge ass profile like this, explaining everything and why you should trust me, and like stuff like that, don't trust them. 99% they're a scammer. And look, just look at this 11 pages of plus reps. Let me just tell you immediately plus reps on the Steam profile thing. Do not count. I mean, they're there, so like I don't know, maybe like I I do have some of mine, cause cause you know just just so I can look cool, you know. But uh, eleven pages of only plus reps. Do you think that's legit? No, that is not legit. So guys, be on the lookout for scammers. Don't accept anything that's too good to be true. Never accept anything that tells you to go first. And well, stay safe. Don't get scammed, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bonus thing, I forgot, um... You know what, how about let's... How about let's troll him a bit, you know? I, I kinda feel like tr some trolling is in order here. Yeah. Let's copy this. Post it in here. Search him up. Not legit. Copy that. Give it to him. LL oh, seems legit. If you want to scam, use a better method. Really. That was so fake. Goodbye. And... Block on communication. Wait, actually, no. Let me unfriend him first. Oh, wait, he already removed me from his friends? He already, re he already removed me from his friends list. Well, don't have to do that anymore. Um, block on communication. Block player. See ya.